Welcome back to IndianTimesDaily.com and the top 10 headlines from Gujarat are PM Narendra Modi has visited his school in Vatnagar during his two-day state visit. Modi held a roadshow and addressed a public meeting where he said that he was touched by the immense love showered by the people of Vatnagar. Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi has arrived for a three-day visit in the state. He visited Ahmedabad for a corner meeting for elections following by travelling to Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel's birthplace, Karamsad. Many BJP political leaders are going to be part of the Gaurav Yatra. Union Minister Smithy Arani has been scheduled to join the Yatra on October 11th and UPCM Ayogi Adityanath on October 13th, while Home Minister Rajnath Singh and Sushma Swaraj will join on October 14th. Congress Youth President Raja Barar has advised people to not vote for the BJP in this election. Barar said that BJP should be taught a lesson for not completing the promises they made and for cheating the people. Deputy Chief Minister Nitin Patel has slammed the Congress for doing nothing in their 60 years of rule over the nation. Patel has asked the Gandhis to submit the accounts of 60 years of their rule. BJP State President Jitu Vaghani has arrived in Botad along with the Gaurav Yatra. Vaghani addressed the people of the city and reassured them that the BJP will achieve their target of 150 seats in the elections. The Great Khali has launched the Super Premium League 2020 Cricket Tournament in Ahmedabad. Khali expressed his desire to open a wrestling league as well and said that many good players from Gujarat were doing well in their wrestling academy. The state police have been shuffling the officials in order to manage the security for the upcoming elections. Total 106 deputy superintendents have been transferred and 10 inspectors have been promoted in the process until now. President of OBC Ekta Manch Alpesh Thakur has postponed his Jan Adesh Sammelan to October 23rd. Thakur will reveal the name of the party which he is going to join for the assembly elections in this program. An exhibition called the Potsav has been organized for the development and welfare of tribal women in Varodra. Handmade home decorations made by these women have been displayed with a message to preserve the culture and traditions. I'll be back. Stay logged on to IndianTimesDaily.com as the news from Punjab follows.